Hey guys, so in this video, I'm talking about how to use the Surfshark VPN. This is one of the cheapest VPNs currently available on the market. And after testing out quite a few of them, it's also one of the best that I've tried personally. It stands right up there with some of the other top VPNs available like NordVPN and Express. So let's get into using Surfshark. There's three sections over here to the main interface on the app. On the left side over here, you have the sidebar which has your add-ons that you can get with the more premium plan of Surfshark. And because Surfshark is so cheap, the premium plan will still be cheaper than the basic plan for a lot of other VPNs. And here you can also access your settings. Now in the middle here, you have the option to choose your locations. And the way this works is you just scroll down, you find the location you wanna to connect to. So let's say it's Australia. You can click on this arrow over here. And if there's more options for servers within a country, you'll be able to see those here. So I can just click on one, let's say Sydney and I'll be connected up to a server over in Australia. In the right window now, you're gonna have live information about your connection. So you're gonna see your connection time. You're gonna see the VPN IP address that you're going to be given. So a new IP address that will be located in Sydney, in Australia. So now any website that you go to on the internet will think that you are in Australia. So if you wanted to access streaming content on Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime Video, or any streaming website, and you wanted to access the Australian library with this new Australian IP address, you would be able to access that content because they would now think that you're in Australia. You're also gonna see some other things like how much you've uploaded and downloaded, the different protocol that you're using, the clean web feature, which has an ad blocker and just blocks a lot of unwanted content over the internet, and the no borders mode feature, which will help bypass any censorship that may be going on in different places, on different networks in the world, with no borders, you can get around that. Also in this main panel with your locations, you have your options for your different servers. So over here you have static IP, and that's because the regular IP address that you're gonna get, like the one I showed you for Australia, those IP addresses will always be changing. So every time you connect up to one of those servers, you're gonna get a different Australian IP address. And there are some websites that monitor which IP address you're using. And if they see that you're signing in from a different one, then that may cause a red flag and you may wind up getting blocked. This happens a lot with bank accounts. I personally had issues with being blocked from a bank account when I was traveling because they saw that I was signing in from a different IP address. With static IP though, you're gonna get the same IP address every time you connect up up to one of these servers. So if I would connect to Germany here, every single time I would get the same IP address. So for websites that track your IP address, having this feature here can be really handy. This will also help you avoid a lot of those annoying recapture verifications. The one trade off with this is that you may get lower speeds when you're connected versus the regular standard locations over here. The other feature here is gonna be multi-hop, which will connect you to two different servers. So this just gives you an added layer of security and protection when you're using the VPN. Because besides allowing you to access content or websites that are only available in different parts of the world, a VPN also secures and protects your data, making everything that you do online anonymous, making it impossible for your ISP or any government or other agency to track down and see what you're doing. And connecting up to two different servers just introduces another layer between you and wherever you're going on the internet and makes it pretty much impossible for anybody to track you down or see what you're doing online. Lastly, there's the dedicated IP and this is an add-on. This is like a static IP. You're going to get the same IP address every time you log in, but you're going to be sharing that same IP address with other users. So if a website sees that a lot of people are using this IP address, even though it's the same one every time, they may realize that it's a VPN IP address. And if they don't like VPNs for whatever reason, they may block that IP address. Whereas with a dedicated IP, you're gonna get the same IP address every time and it will always be your own unique IP address. So it's gonna make it much, much harder for any website trying to block VPN usage from doing so because you're gonna have your own IP they're not gonna be able to know that you're using a VPN because there's just nobody else using it. They're, it's gonna be really hard for them to even realize that this is a VPN IP address. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you is this little button right here, which tests your location speeds. And if you click on it, Surfshark is gonna give you the ping for every one of their servers. But ping is in case you don't know, is basically just the amount of time that it takes for data to travel from your computer over to their server and then back to you. So lower ping means a faster connection and a faster time, whereas higher ping means it's taking longer and it would be a slower connection. 
And there you go. This is going to be the ping for these different servers. And if you're using a VPN for gaming and you want to use a VPN to try to help get better or potentially more stable ping, then this little feature can be really helpful to try to find the best server that you can connect to that will also give you the best in-game play and the smoothest gameplay. So that's just something that is a nice little add-on that you're not going to find in these other VPNs like NordVPN or Express. And by the way, if you want to find out even more useful information about Express, Nord or Surfshark, I'll be sure to leave some more useful links in the description below. Okay, now just the last thing here before we wrap this up, now that you know exactly what's going on on the main page here, let's just go into the settings and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to use this. So in the VPN settings over here, you're going to have your startup options. You're going to have your quick connect options. Here's that clean web feature I was talking about, which blocks ads, trackers, and malware with the VPN connected. You have your kill switch, which disables the internet connection if your VPN would ever stop working. So if you're connected to a network that's not very secure, like a public Wi-Fi network, it's a good idea to have this enabled so that you're always using the internet together with your VPN and you're never going to have a situation situation where you're ever going to be on that unsecure network and not have the VPN connected and your computer and data will be vulnerable to data leaks and data breaches. Next up is the protocol and the protocol is basically the messenger service between the VPN and the internet. So just like some messenger services, some delivery services are faster or more secure or more available in different parts of the world or your country than others. The same thing goes with the protocol. So you have here basically three options. Now open VPN is older and is more wide spread, but it's not going to be as fast necessarily as WireGuard. WireGuard is newer. It's not as available as OpenVPN, but it is going to be much faster than OpenVPN. Both of these are pretty secure, so I don't think you need to worry about that between the two of these. And you also have the automatic function, which will choose the best one for you, depending on which connection you choose. If you want the faster one, though, choose WireGuard. Next is the bypasser, and this is what's called split tunneling in other VPNs. And this allows you to choose exactly what you want to have the VPN connected to. So if you don't want your entire internet connection going through the VPN, you can choose exactly which app or website you want to go through the VPN. You can either have it route through the VPN with it, or you can have it bypass the VPN and not going with the VPN. So you can choose both of those options with the bypasser. Next, you have a speed test that you can run between different servers and see the download, upload speed, and latency between different servers. Again, if you're using a VPN for gaming and you wanna find the best server to get the best ping, this is something that can really be useful. Now, the last things here are the advanced security features. You have invisible on LAN that makes you invisible pretty much to any other devices on your local network, rotating IP, which will automatically change your IP address. I spoke about this earlier. This will make it that even when you're connected to one location, your IP address will be changing, not just when you initially connect. So this will give you even more privacy. Although, like I said, if a website is tracking your IP address, this may have its own drawbacks. And lastly, the no borders feature, which allows you to get around censorship that may be going on in different countries and different networks around the world. So that's all for using the Surfshark VPN. For the price that you're paying for this VPN, it's probably the best option on the market. You're getting a lot of high level features that you don't normally find in a VPN at this price. Now, that being said, if you have some extra money and you want to invest in a bit of a higher quality VPN, in my opinion, then I would definitely recommend either NordVPN or Express. Both of these VPNs, in my opinion, are a bit faster than Surfshark and also have more stable and reliable connections. They don't drop out. I've had that issue at times with Surfshark with my connection dropping out. I've never had that with Nord or Express. And while all three of these VPNs have an audited no logs policy report, meaning that third party companies have verified and checked out that these VPNs do not keep any personal information local on their own servers. So there's no way for anybody to ever know what you're doing online. NordVPN and Express, Express in particular here, have done more of those reports than Surfshark. So that's another area where these two, in my opinion, stand above Surfshark. And again, if you want to find out any more about these full reviews, more information, I'll leave all of that in the description below, including some discount links that will save you some extra money if you do want to try any of them out. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.